Okay. <laughs> yes, it is. Can I get anyone? Oh, there's Dan. Dan, Dan, he's the band. Easy peasy style. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the last time I get to babble and entertain Mr. Bojangles. I'm still wondering if that's politically correct now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anymore. But welcome to the 3D Rotary Club, uh, the best, best meeting you'll have all week. We are just so excited today. It's a special, special day where we pass the gavel. And uh, I had no idea it feels so good. <laughs> so I didn't even bother putting in a happy thought slide because I figure I already know what everybody's happy for. <laughs> so um, we'll go ahead and get started though in true 3D Rotary Club style with, oh, oh, okay, with the Pledge of Allegiance. So let's go ahead and stand <laughs> down your burritos just for a second, clear out your throats. All right. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, no! <laughs> I haven't heard a little child. I mean, that is so sweet. You need to, you need Sorry, to, yeah. to I need to make sure, like, are you guys seeing this little loveliness right here? Oh, oh. The Karina's is what about me? I know, right? Wait for the camera. Wait for the camera. <laughs> that is sweet. That is sweet. All right. Okay. I'm sorry. I digress. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to these Texas, Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. Resume back to chowing down and yummy, yummy. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, and, and we've got some honored guests. So, Carlos, did you want to introduce your guests here today? Yes. Um, so, we have uh, my son, Sergio, <laughs> my oldest daughter, Carla, my oldest mother, oh, oldest <laughs> mother, oldest mother, yeah, <laughs> oldest mother are you there? <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, our middle one, Karina, and my lovely wife. Oh. Welcome, welcome. welcome. And Dwayne, not that I consider her a guest. She's, she's our bestie. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite wife. Oh, there you go. My favorite. Not the oldest, right? <laughs> oldest mom. Oldest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. We'll we'll re we'll uh, edit that out in the video. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so glad you guys are here. So, we're here for Pass the Gavel. What is Pass the Gavel? Uh, well, it's this little thing right here that I actually just forgot to ring. <laughs> that thing right there. So, I won't be doing that. See, I thought I did it much anyway. <laughs> but it will metaphorically be handed over to Carlos uh, in just a few minutes. So, super, super excited about that. Um, this is not only about passing the gavel, but this is honoring all of your hard work, all of this that you've done for the club. Uh, it has just been extraordinary, the effort that has uh, gone on. And so we are here to celebrate each and every one of you um, and you online too. Some of you guys can't make it, but just know that, that uh, you are so valued and so appreciated. So uh, let's just kick start it, all right? So the very first award that we wanna honor is the fact that we get to be in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful establishment, this wonderful place of business, the Keesling Agency. We are so grateful, so grateful. I will never forget the day I think uh, Carlos took uh, Denise and Brad out to La Cima or something and had a great conversation. Jennifer was there. And next thing you know, Denise was like, we should just have the meetings at our office. And I was like, yes! <laughs> so uh, we want to make sure everybody that comes in uh, the Keesling Agency is aware that Brad and Denise Keesling are honorary, I mean, not honor, they are members of the 3D Rotary Club. So get over here. Get over here. So folks online. Thank you. Thank you. 
We are so, Thank so grateful. Very much. Very good. Yeah. So, yeah. oh, I'm like, yeah. All right. So. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. We love hosting everyone. We love having people in here and um, we miss it. We love Rotary. We love everything that we're doing. Um, yeah, so come on, people, join us. <laughs> Let's make this club bigger and we can do better things. Yep. National sales woman right there. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Always opening and getting here early. And before we even switched the time, they were up here seven in the morning, maybe, you know, sometime. And then luckily they talked Carlos into to officing here. So they passed it on to him. <laughs> Just so they could get a few more winks, you know. I mean, but still, I, I see everybody up here early too. So um thank you. Seriously, an honor. And speaking of honor, I have the best board. I am just so, so grateful to all the board members. And um, as a matter of fact, um, Carlos, can you help me? For those that are here, I got a little token of my appreciation. Um, that's for you. To just say thank you so much. Ashley, yours is right here. I'll give it to you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Not, not KJ. I don't need one. Let's see. Denise. Uh, there you go. There you go. You can go ahead and hand those out to people. And for everybody else that is coming, oh, Nurse Dwayne. Thank you. Just a little token to say thank you so much uh, for, it's been a challenging year and we had to make some, hey! <laughs> and we had to make some tough decisions and, and, and having to listen to me butcher Robert's Rules of Order, which is probably the <laughs> best year. Uh, that's probably like the, the worst thing in the world, you know? Uh, but it, it has just been a true honor and support to have you. You know, I told Carlos for your board, pick people that you actually like to be around, that you're friends with, because you're gonna have a lot of fun discussions, a lot of challenging discussions. <laughs> but I thank you for keeping me strong, keeping me on my toes, for advising me. Um, I mean, Dwayne, I, I keep looking at you because you're just the rock, you know? I mean, you're just that firm, ground that I'm standing under and I know that if I'm starting to shift or pivot you kind of go well you might want to <laughs> tilt a little <laughs> and so I really really appreciate it and Jeff you crazy goon thank you so much <laughs> I'm gonna I gotta like I'm gonna miss openly being able to publicly diss you so I've gotta like find a way to make jabs but anyway Thank you so much though for always just keeping us on our toes and exploring new opportunities, new things. You're so innovative and thank you for that. Uh, and Ashley, you are always like, you're the elder millennial, right? <laughs> Hate that you're branded with that, but <laughs> uh, thank you so much though for just always, you know, just keeping things fresh and keeping things with integrity, you know, making sure that, that we're following the true north that Rotary established and, and I'll thank Carlos in a little bit, but you didn't know that Carlos actually had to call me one time after board meeting and train me. We did a practice run of Robert's Rules of Order because it was that bad. <laughs> it was that bad. And I even wrote notes, you know, and so, but I, I did better. You did great. There we go. So, okay. <laughs> and you think my sweet husband would nudge me, but he was just like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> But um, 12 months or 12 meetings and, and maybe a couple of emergency ones, I don't know, but uh, it has just been a very interesting year, very challenging year, and we all had to face something that we weren't used to. And so we just really, really thank you. And for the rest of the board members that aren't able to be here, uh, I've got your gifts and I will get them to you. All right. I have a lot of people. Yeah, it's a lot of board members. All right. So there was too many people to put on here, but I thought through the year who are just these wonderful gems that have just done so much for our community, that has done so much for uh, the club, 
that have been engaged and have been a part of, of where we, our vision is and what we stand for. Uh, people that are just on the spot, you call them up and they're there. And, you know, I was thinking, of course, the board members are amazing, but I was thinking outside the board members, outside the board members, who are these members that are just exceptional when it comes to just pouring themselves into what we're trying to accomplish. And we had so much going on, guys. I mean, I'll tap into it a little bit later, but we had 17 projects that we were engaged in, 17 in one year. And Kathy, you got to tell me, that's pretty impressive, that's right? Impressive. It is, I know, and especially in a pandemic year, right? And so I was like, but we couldn't have done it without you guys. And, you know, I've been working so much, my job changed. And so the demands of my role had changed. So I really leaned on you guys a lot, <laughs> maybe so much that it was almost suffocating, but you did it, you did it and you did a wonderful job. And so I wanted to award you with the spirit of service award. And Carlos, if you can help me with this too. Yes. So um, got my nice little list and I'm already seeing the faces. So Amy Yarbrough, Yay. thank you. Uh, Kathy, who just came right out of the gate, making us look good. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> and I know uh, Brian and Linda, you get one too. And I know you're you're online. And so, but I don't want you to think you've been forgotten about. So we got one for you that we'll make sure to get over to you. And um, also, Sherry, Gina, Angie. Yay! <laughs> Felicia, oh, Phil at the yeah, police yeah. station, um, Karen, uh, got Amy, Jessica Dunn, oh my goodness, Carrie Abrams, I mean, come on guys, where are you, why can't I give this to you, <laughs> but I will get this to you, I am so grateful to you, you, you deserved it, you earned it, it says the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others, and it can't be more true. This is where your happy place is, is when you get back. And so thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. And board members, don't be mad, okay? <laughs> All right, and so then I had to think about who are the people that really went like the extra step? You must literally love Rotary because for you to do what you did is just, no one could expect this. And, you know, John Pitts is one of these people that did this, uh, but he's not able to make it. And, um, but I do have a nice little pin that says, I love Rotary for the people that have paid, sponsored another member to be in the club. So Carlos, you've been doing it since I knew you, bro. So you get one of these. <laughs> And uh, the other one goes to Sina, Sina Chimney. So this will get to you, Sina. So thank you, thank you so, so much. Um, it means a lot when, oh, it means a lot when you are able to um, just show how much that you actually care for the club, you care for the service, when you're willing to pay for it out of your own pocket. Carlos has done this for two years. Well, since we started, he's constantly championed someone and he's still doing it today. Um, and it's just, it's a, it's wonderful. And John Pitts has done it as well. And Sina has done it. And um, I'm, it's not being asked up. So you're just, you're way over. So I'm thinking you clearly love Rotary. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. All right. And so then a little surprise. A little surprise because I think if somebody works this hard uh, as, as Carlos has as president elect, I mean, really hard, you need to get a little bit something extra than just a pin. <laughs> we need to at least let you know that you're outstanding. <laughs> and so, this is what Carlos is getting everybody right here. Um, but it says, Get over here, big teddy bear. All right, it says, presented to Carlos Yudrudas in recognition of outstanding dedication and service to the 380 Rotary Club 2020-2021 because I wanted to make sure everybody knew, dude, you worked hard, real hard. And, and I saw it and I know everyone else saw it and I want you to know 
<laughs> Cameron, hey, that yeah. we all Y'all know you'll be you. happy with me later. <laughs> <laughs> um, so did you have, you want to share any words with, with your speech, ear? Speech. This will be a mini version of what you're going to say. <laughs> well, um, this is, uh, this is a great honor and, uh, you know, thank you. I, uh, you know, when, when we do the things that we do, it's, uh, it's a lot. It means a lot more when we're doing with people who love and people that we like to be around. And so, you know, everything that we do is, you know, it's a lot better because we're all together. Yeah. Aww. That's awesome. That's awesome. You know, I, I just, I'm so proud because, you know, I really had my doubts when we first started, <laughs> which Dwayne told me, stop saying that. <laughs> um, but you just, you, you just, you're just, a, you do everything. You take care of everything and you have such the best attitude about it. And you're so pleasant. And uh, every pin that you're wearing, you've earned it. It wasn't like just some trinket somebody gave you. You literally worked hard and earned it. And, and I hope you look at that, you know, with some pride. Um, and I hope your, I hope if your kids and your mom and your wife really, I mean, I know you probably are like, you're doing way too much, <laughs> but it, it is so, so such a treasure to have a heart like this. Um, that's a true servant of God. He learned it from him. <laughs> did you hear that? Mama said he learned it from her as a smart woman there. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes, he did. Thank you. Um, and then John Pitt. So John has his award. And um, for those that didn't know John, he uh, ran the UPS store in Crossroads. And he just recently retired um, just a few, like a, one month ago, maybe or something. Like it was really quick. Uh, but he has transitioned to a, a, somewhat, a, a different owner now has that. But he is living life on the hog right now. He is so happy. And he told me to tell you all that he loves you and party on. Awesome. But um, he got an award because his, I mean, he, he, he's not able to beat in meetings, but you would never know uh, any lack in the community because he's so generous. He's not only sponsored members, but he has raised nearly, I would probably say 80% of the proceeds that we've got for Penny for Polio, it came from his office. Uh, just a huge contributor for that. And um, he's also donates so many uh, of the boxes that Love Packs needs. Uh, for for their for their food um, deliveries and he supplies that free and so I mean he he has done some and I'm just barely scratching the surface because I know there's even more things he's done I know he's he's a member of Aubrey Chamber and they even recognize him and honor him for his his work and so we're just so blessed and honored and I was of course nervous as soon as I found out he retired like from UPS because I was like oh no but he paid his dues so I was like yay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so anyway, but he's, he is absolutely wonderful. And he was so grateful to receive this award and very proud. So wanted to make sure that, that he was recognized for that. Okay, so leading me up to my next to final presentation. This is a very prestigious award. This is a very honored award. Uh, this is for someone who you, you can't even put one word or you can't even <laughs> capture really all the value that is brought in uh this woman is not only just a positive ray of sunshine as soon as she comes in like the room gets lighter the air gets clearer you actually hear birds i mean <laughs> disney is singing you know um but just all heart and she she joined the the club just a, a year and a half ago i think it was maybe maybe close to that and uh, immediately said put me to work and so we we gave her the position of secretary and then she said, it's not enough. I want to do more. Who says that, right? <laughs> Who says I want to do more? And she did. And she uh, asked to be the family of Rotary and because that's where her heart was. And I think you guys broke her though, because I don't think she wants to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but no, uh, <laughs> she is, like I said, all heart. If you think about what service means, when you think about what people's action means, when you think about what opening doors uh, of opportunity mean, when you think about, you know, changing the world through service, I can only think of one person, it's Denise. 
Uh, get over here, Denise. <laughs> Denise wears so many hats. And it doesn't even matter if she's in pain. Um, and then you can't get Medicaid at seven in the morning, people, you know? And so she'll hobble around in pain and, and she'll sacrifice her time. And she's had such a busy schedule with getting her kids ready. And so uh, we are so honored and proud to award her as Rotarian of the Year. Oh. Yeah. So uh, and this is also known as Just Sign the Waiver Award, okay? <laughs> and so, like, with some of you past recipients, you're like, what? It's like, just sign the waiver yeah. means I'm all in. I'm all in. Anything can happen. Just sign the waiver. You can't sue me. So we're thankful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I love you. Love you, too. Love you, love you too. I hope you, you put that somewhere where you can be proud of this. Of course. So, oh, my God. So much, right? I wanted, I created a little video, it's a little video, and I hope I can uh, share this appropriately where it, you can see it good, hear it good. And folks online, if you have a problem, just speak up if you can't hear it. But I wanted to share with all of you um, just what we went through. This has been a ride. This has been the funnest, craziest, challenging, up and down roller coaster ride, but we did it and we made it. And, and we've done so much. And I want you to be so proud because none of this could have happened without you. None of it. So here we go. Uh, play, play, play. Awesome, awesome. And it worked. <laughs> it was a lot, wasn't it? I, I told you it was a lot. <laughs> Such an amazing year that we've had. And uh, oh, hang on. hang on. I think uh, my video is uh, still going. And so, <laughs> all right. Let me just share that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, at some point you start to think, Okay, God, wow, you know, uh, oh, 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 
your pen. <laughs> I looked at the slide. I went, there's a pen. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yay. <laughs> um, I also wanted to give a couple of special recognition real quick to uh, Dwayne Bronner. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, exactly. For going above and beyond. Um, I don't think I've ever, I talk about it, but I don't think I've ever truly, truly acknowledged how much of a treasure you are to the 3D Rotary Club. I hope little Elm Rotary's not mad at us. <laughs> I feel like we, we stole you. Uh, but since the first day that I called you and asked, what is Rotary? Can you know, what is this about? And you welcomed me with open arms. Uh, you are a true servant of God and just really, really grateful. And, and why do I cry when I say God? You know, what is this? What is this? <laughs> God wants me to pray. <laughs> but seriously, thank you. Um, like I said before, guys, this club wouldn't even be named 380 Rotary Club if it wasn't for Dwayne. And I mean, he has helped us from the very foundation. And you are above and beyond, brother. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is the Peace Award for Rotary, and this is just somebody who has knocked my socks off um, just right out of the gate, and I just, I mean, she's brand new, but I can't help it. I just am blown away by this, by this person, and this is Kathy Langley. Thank you so much. You are a treasure, and I mean, we've only, you know, tried to get you in for over a year, but, <laughs> and I hope Denton isn't upset with us, but you you really have impressed me so much you've already put us on the map you put a marker that has our club name that will forever be established of um, that beautiful garden and so just keep it up thank you thank you we, we love you and appreciate you um all right so finally for the good stuff without further ado can we all stand <laughs> Oh, uh, this is such a big moment, and come here, Carlos. I'm so excited. Carlos is about to get something really, really important. Um, it is with great honor, and I mean true honor, that you will be representing this club and leading it and, and guiding it through the next journey. <laughs> and know that we are all with you. We rally behind you. Um, we are truly better together. And so I'm going to ping you with this as guys. Welcome your new 380 Rotary Club president, Carla! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna let you talk and I think you've got something you wanna share, right? So I'm gonna stop. Oh. Do I need to do anything on your laptop? Um, in a minute you can share the... Okay. Slide. Okay. Uh, so, uh, thank you, thank you very much, Carrie, uh, and all you guys. And it's 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 a it's a huge honor to to even be here serving alongside you guys. It's um, you know when people ask what are what are some of the some of the some of the things that you've accomplished, one of the first things that always pops up is is rotary because. You know, we, we really do some amazing things. You guys individually do some amazing things, and I'm just happy to be, you know, play a small part in, in being able to help. And, you know, the things that we're able to do, the way we're able to impact people's lives, whether it's kids with love packs, whether it's, um, you know, people, homeless people with souls for salvation, the backpack drives that we've held, uh, the, you know, the things that we've done, they're just, there's too many to name, but how many, how many individual lives have you guys impacted? Um, you know, how many have we impacted as a club? And for, for such a new club, for such a small club, I think that's, you know, it's really something to be proud of. So, oh, so thank you. Awesome. Um, you know, this last year has been, Carrie keeps talking about how challenging it was, how uh, difficult some of this was. Um, you know, I just want to highlight how wonderful it's been. Aww. You know, uh, under the leadership of you know Carrie. Carrie's had uh, because of Carrie's job, because of where Carrie lives, because of other things. Carrie hasn't been able to be here, and 
you know, I mean, you've got to be an extraordinary leader to be able to lead from from her position, from where she's been. Oh, and so, Carrie, you have done an amazing job. So, uh, <laughs> you know, it's it's not uh, it doesn't go without being noticed. Uh, everybody here always talks about the amazing work that you do. And whenever you're here, everybody, everybody is so happy to see you. <laughs> Thank so, um, so thank you. And you brighten everything. <laughs> oh, oh my God. I, you know, can even be as uh, just tiny bit as positive and encouraging as you are. I will feel like I fulfill. You know, oh my goodness. How did you see this? <laughs> oh, I'm crying officially. It's already done. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so Thank I've you. got one more gift for you. Oh. <laughs> Can I put this here with you? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And you said you didn't want, um, I had to return that one that you said. <laughs> he said it about a gavel. I was like, I don't have shelf space for a gavel. I didn't, I, I didn't really do that. <laughs> but. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Look at that. For three in a row. Amazing <laughs> presence. Um, you're really something to look up to, someone that we can, you know, uh, model our presidency after for all those presidents to come. And, you know, we've got we've got some really big shoes to fill, and I can only hope to, you know, continue what, what you started. Thank so. you. Uh, you'll do better. You'll do way better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. This has been an honor. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. Wow. He gives great gifts, doesn't he? <laughs> Which one's the one here that says KJ? Which oh, I, I saw that. I thought it was a mistake. Okay. I thought Karine did something funny there. <laughs> no, she did not. I don't know. Is it, is it a new house? <laughs> That's I, already, right. I already got you one. You got me. Oh, yeah, you did. You did. You got me a new house. Like, what is that? What is that? Oh, my goodness. What? What? Oh, is it a ring? <laughs> That's the best. Oh, it's the best pin. <laughs> it's the best pin. That's right. Oh, this is your you. best present. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, let me show the folks at home. Oh, my gosh. I would just wear this literally every single day. <laughs> every, I put it on a chain so I can just like always sleep in it and wear it. <laughs> Thank you. I am honored. I'm truly honored. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And so just so y'all know, Carrie is not going anywhere. Oh no. Yeah. Um, no. All of the all of the positions that have not been yet filled, Carrie's volunteered to fill them <laughs> until, yeah, until they get filled. So of course. She's going to help me with, with all of that. So Carrie's going to go into hibernation and take a nap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you. And yes, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I promise. I promise. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, everyone. I'm going to put this on right now. Thank you. Okay. Did you want me to share? Yeah, go ahead. And okay. All right, so um, so as our next year starts, it'll start officially uh, in July. But with that comes our our new board, right? Some some new board members, some pre-existing board members, some some members are taking new positions and um, you know different roles in leadership, but. This is this is really what makes our club go forward. Cool. This is what, you know, this is the powerhouse behind all of the great things that we do. And so we'll start by recognizing, obviously, Carrie is our past president, and she's gonna continue to, to play a big role in our, our club and continue to support us in everything that we do. Um, mainly because since she and Sina started this, 
right? It's uh, it's only fitting that they they continue to do this, even if it's from a phone. You have your own bat phone, so you know, <laughs> bat signal, bat phone. <laughs> well, so um, mine would be the Ninja Turtle. Oh, the phone, Ninja Turtle right? phone. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> right. uh, so one of our new board members is our new treasurer. Uh, she's a branch manager at Point Bank, Ms. Karen Navarro. Uh, is Karen online? No, no? She, she actually had to work. <laughs> she did tell me that she does she does a lot of that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so when it comes to paying our dues and keeping our finances in order uh, Karen will be um, she'll be the one in charge of all of that she's also uh, working closely with Jennifer to make that transition and y'all know how wonderful Jennifer is Jennifer is stepping into our uh, the role of membership chair and so she'll be leading uh, our, our membership stuff whenever we have events um, we have new uh, uh, new clients <laughs> new members that want to join uh, we'll direct those people to Jennifer uh, Corey will be helping her with um, interviews and things like that uh, Brian Roberson Brian Roberson is uh, has agreed to our be our youth our uh, youth services chair and so what that means is in the very beginning, we had Chassie Hooker, mm -hmm. and that was at Braswell, and she was wonderful. Um, and a lot of times, well, uh, Dwayne had made the joke earlier today that, uh, well, you're not old enough to be in Rotary. <laughs> well, somebody did. Um, well, that might be the case in other clubs, but here, uh, you know, we welcome all ages, and we want to attract all ages, and we want to get as involved as we can. Uh, from an early age, uh, getting our kids involved in our community. There's a lot of, a lot, a lot of support here. There's a lot of kids that are willing to do things. And so we want to take take it as much advantage of that as we can. Brian's going to be leading us. Yay! Uh, that part of this. Uh, Dwayne Bronner. Uh, <sighs> <laughs> um, it's not just me. <laughs> no, it's, it's just. He does so much already, right? And yes, he and he and I had a serious conversation not that long ago in my office, and I said, "Look, you've got to cool it. You have to. You have to do less. You really need to focus on taking care of yourself." Yeah. Uh, and he just doesn't quit. So, uh, as a club, we're going to help Dwayne uh, in all that he has volunteered to do, uh, because he is uh, volunteered to be our community services chair. That means he's going to head up our parade, our, uh, um, he's going to, <laughs> it's almost, it's almost too many hats to name. It is. But, uh, <laughs> you know, he, and on top of everything, he's going to be president-elect. <laughs> so, I'm about this, but there's visitors. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you like a flower? <laughs> uh, let's see. Denise. Denise has agreed to continue to be our secretary. Now, uh, things how we office in the same place. Um, I know Denise helps Brad keep his head on straight. Uh, and she does so much for so many people. And uh, I, I don't know how, how all of this would work if Denise didn't hold it all together. And so, uh, so thanks to Denise. And she oftentimes, you know, without, without even knowing or wanting to or uh, unintentionally, she, you know, just, she doesn't say no. She doesn't, you, you know, just pile it all on and, and you know, she'll she'll take it on. So, so thank you. Um, Jennifer Kirk, we already talked about how she's going to be our membership chair, but she's also our president elect designee nominee. <laughs> right? Dwayne, what's the right term for that? Nominee. Nominee. Nominee designee. Nominee. She's after Dwayne. President elect nominee. So. Uh, you know, Jennifer, Jennifer's a, a great leader in her own right. And so we're we're really, really looking forward to to her year and everything that she'll have coming. 
uh, Sina. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> Sina. Uh, Sina is in everything. <laughs> There's if there's anything going on, Sina, Sina definitely knows. Yeah. And um, she's another one of those that just, uh, you know, like we we've, we've gone through through so much together already. Oh yeah. And uh, to have her as our club administration chair, uh, that's that's going to be a huge help for our club because awesome. that's that's a huge role. And a lot of people might not understand uh, everything that club administration chair does. Uh, if you want to find out, and uh, if you're if you have a bunch of extra time on your hands, <laughs> then, um, hang out with Sina and we'll be busy. That's true. Uh, Corey, Corey Tidwell, her husband, uh, God bless him. He's uh, <laughs> <laughs> he just does everything Sina says and he, he does it well. <laughs> you know, uh, he is the model husband. Everything is yes, ma'am. Yeah. And I'll do it right now, honey. And Yes, I'm already on it. <laughs> um, which is, and he's he's been our uh, presidential leadership chair from the very beginning. Yeah. And uh, you know, there's not a better person for that for him to continue that. Now he's another one that said there's not enough on my plate, so he uh -huh. is going to take over our tiny libraries program. We still have a couple of libraries that we've got to get out, and so um, later on this year, once it cools down a little bit, we'll yes. Have We'll have a group event where we can all get together, finish putting these libraries together, get them up, get them at the schools, and any new libraries that want to come, you know, want to be sponsored. Corey's going to take that on. He'll be, he'll be the one championing that program. So um, I know it had its challenges. Uh, it's been it's been a great program, yeah. and it's really, you know, something to be proud of to go around the community. And see these tiny libraries branded with great rotary, you know, sweat and hard work and yeah. dedication from all of our Rotarians. It's, it really is something that we should help hold our head up high and be proud of. And, you know, as Carrie leads, Carrie, Carrie took care of everything. Carrie. Everything. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and so with her leaving, with her, her being becoming past president, uh, we're able to pass that off to Corey. So that's not just going to go by the wayside. So we're super good. That's awesome. Um, one of my favorite Rotarians uh, in the whole wide world, Mr. Jeff Crosswell. <laughs> um, he he will continue to be our vocational chair. Uh, he's such a wealth of knowledge. Every every meeting, um, you know, never never comes without something to offer. Uh, whether it's knowledge, whether it's uh, trivia, whether it's, um, <laughs> You know, you're just, you're just always giving, and you are you're the embodiment of, of what a Rotarian should be. Aww. So, you know, to continue to be our vocational chair, I think we're we're all super proud that you know, you're going to help us highlight everybody's vocation and what we do, so that we can support each other, continue to support each other. And he's also going to be our sergeant at arms. So. I heard I get to carry a weapon. It's the skinny part of a fishing rod. Okay. And so whenever <laughs> it what? always works. Yeah. Uh, so if you ever see one of us walking around with a big red welt oh, around no. our neck, it's because we, we got out of order. It's the rotary game. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brad. Brad is <laughs> Brad, a key <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Linda, Linda is going to be our um, service projects chair. Now, uh, Linda, you know, Linda's so much more than just the mayor of Providence Village. She's oh, yeah. before before she did that, you know, she's she spent her lifetime serving, yeah. you know, and, and she's such a huge asset to have. Uh, again, not just because she's mayor, she does so much more than that. And so the role of uh, service projects chair is so fitting for Linda. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna go hand in hand. It, it, no, it's not her job. It's not what she does for work, but it's what she does that comes from the heart. And so there's not a better person for our service projects chair than Linda. I'm so glad that uh, she she accepted to be our, our service projects chair, and she works so closely with Love Pack. She her house is actually one of the drop off locations for Love Pack. 
And so as the year goes on and we're going, we have to coordinate deliveries and stuff, pull up packs, all that's going to go through the window. Uh, she works really closely with Karen, and we all know Karen. Um, Amy Yarborough is, has uh, agreed to be our family rotary chair. Yeah. So, uh, as y'all know, Amy, Amy already runs the Providence Fellows Experience. Amy knows everybody that is anybody. And so, Amy serves with a heart of gold. And so, in our family of rotary, as, a, as the family of rotary chair, she's, uh, you know, she will be in charge of helping everyone celebrate their victories, um, you know, mourning their losses, uh, keeping us together as a club, all the things that, that are really important to us. And, and in our personal lives, we're, you know, what really makes us a family. That's what Amy's going to be in charge of. And, uh, and we're, we're super proud to have her. Um, Thank you, Amy. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Long pause. <laughs> yes. This last one is just. Oh, I need help. Yeah, please. Um, Brad. <laughs> 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 um, so. We ran out of circles, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, yes, we did. We totally ran out of circles. Okay, we'll fix it. Yeah. So, so Brad Kiesling, uh, he's. Uh, he does enough for our club as it is, right? Every, everybody knows Brad, everybody loves Brad. Um, and everybody loves that Brad always comes in second and true. But Brad does so much for our club. Not only does do they have, the Kieslings offer us this space, but you know, there's, there's so much that the Kieslings do. Um, so we've delivered water together, we've been able to support boxes together. We, I mean, we have served, like, you know, you know, sweat, blood, and tears <laughs> together. And um, gave so, us money too. Yeah. yeah Brad, <laughs> Brad is rich. Was. <laughs> Brad said that if those online, he said he's not he's not now because he's married to Denise. He's not, so he's yeah. Denise. And he takes some lessons. About the shop. <laughs> so um you know, because Brad is so good with money, because he's married to Denise. Um, Brad is going to help us uh look for our grants, um, help us with our annual donations. Uh Things of that nature. So, um, Brad is going to be hopefully uh, getting our club in the position where we can we can serve more monetar monetarily and, and really really do a lot more uh, and have have an even greater impact on our community. So, thank you, Brad, for for taking that on. You you already do so much. Yeah. Get your checkbooks out. Yeah. Get your checkbooks out. <laughs> <laughs> Check. They're gonna start calling him Pastor Brad. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that's our board, and I'm super proud of of everybody. I'm I'm way excited. There there are a couple of positions that are still open. One of them is going to be fundraising chair. If you are interested in uh, heading up our uh, our fundraising department, let me know. Also, public image. If there's someone that's uh, that wants to be in charge of getting the word out of who we are and what we're all about. Um, it, it definitely takes a group a group effort to, to let the world know what we do, um, but we don't want to keep this a secret. So a public image chair, I think, would uh, really, really help our club because we know what we do. We, we know the, the projects that we're involved in. And a lot of times we're, you know, we want to do our work quietly. We want to do our work and and not boast and, and be proud. And, and that's that's what's in our heart and that's who we are. Um, but we do need somebody to share the work that we do so that we can inspire others to hopefully make them aware, A, if they need help or B, if they want to get involved. So um, so those two positions are still going to be available if, if anybody 
If anybody's interested, y'all let me know. Right. <laughs> Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay. And I will. Oh, yeah, you'll do that one. Right, so I'm going to share. How do I share? Right where it says share screen. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's that one. Let me click on that. Here we go. Yeah, like, look at you as acting president. You just did something. <laughs> enjoying this too much. <laughs> I am. I'm a little giddy. I've got my past president pin on. I'm feeling very good. <laughs> All right. So, oh, Carrie. Uh, meeting? Uh, oh, well, next meeting? yeah. Next meeting, guys, um, is uh, it's Fourth of July weekend. And so our meeting on July 2nd is going to be canceled. So we're not, we won't be meeting uh, on July 2nd. Yay! Right. <laughs> so Carrie, one last time, you want to lead us out? Oh, okay, let's do it. Oh my God, I'm so happy. All right, here we go. Make it loud and proud. Let's like, like, you know, disturb the customers on the phone. All right, here we go. The four-way test of the things we think. We say or we do. Number one, is it the truth? truth? Number two, is it the truth? Number three, will it build goodwill and better friendships? Number four, will it be beneficial to all concerned? Number five, is it the truth? 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 Thank you, everyone, online. Thank you, thank you so much. Love you, love you. Congratulations. Uh, remember, no much. meeting on July 2nd. Okay, no meeting on July 2nd. Have a great holiday and weekend. July 2nd, the next meeting? Next Friday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, no meeting next week. All right, let's look in. Or you can come if you want. Maybe I didn't know you were going to be here today. Yeah. Oh, you want to make sure what that is?